What's up, people? Welcome back to 5W Tech. It's Tech Review Wednesday, and instead of reviewing a tech item, I'm going to show you how to maintain a tech item. So if we've learned one thing in the past year, it's to keep our shit clean. Our hands are everywhere and they transport all sorts of nasties from point A to point B. So what kind of disaster does that spell for your gaming gear? Well, not much. ABS and PBT plastics won't get sick from crusties and germs, but you can. So that's why it's important to keep your peripherals clean and tidy. We all take pride in our gaming setups no matter how basic and budget they are, all the way to fancy RGB lit gaming setups. Let's break it down into the five categories and see what steps you can take to level your cleaning game. Number one, the keyboard. This is probably the second most dirtiest item in your arsenal of gaming gear. The keyboard is touched by both of your hands and fingers. It can get pretty nasty and its odd surface area, due to the keys, makes it hard to just wipe clean. Before even doing that basic function, it's important to rid the keyboard of any crusties, especially for you food-eating PC gamers. Yeah, you know who you are. It's astonishing how much can get in between the keys, but won't come out as easily as it went in. My first step would be to turn the keyboard around and smack the living RGB out of it, and get any large loose items out. You can try using a vacuum as well to grab the dust particles and other lodged items. I'm not a fan of air cans because they just blast the dust and dirt around. And most of the time it'll eventually settle back down onto your desk or peripherals. You can finish off with some disinfectant wipes as long as they aren't highly doused in alcohol. You don't want to strip any of the shine or luster away from your keyboard. Side note for wide keyboard users, I feel for you guys, keycap stain is a real thing and once it settles in there, there really isn't any way to get it out. I've tried all sorts of tricks and solutions. ABS plastic might last longer than PBT, but stain will settle in eventually, even if you're careful. Another cool item I use is the Swiffer Duster. It's like a magnet for dust and somehow is able to grab all the dust and small medium particles. It's sized in a way where you can wedge it in between the keys. My favorite and easiest method by far. If you want to go all out, you can pull all the keys and clean the forgotten territory of the keyboard. This will be a must for any of you that have spilled sugary drinks on your keyboard. Isn't it better to just not eat at your desk? Number two, the mouse. By far the dirtiest and most nastiest peripheral. We all handle the mouse with our main hand. Most of us being right-handed and even those that are left-handed will use the hand they perform most functions with, such as picking your nose, wiping your slobber, or eating Doritos, and then grabbing your mouse with your greasy paw. My god, we're disgusting creatures. Thankfully, the mouse has a much easier surface to deal with. Most basic mice will be smooth and shaped in a way you can get away with wiping them clean with a damp cloth or disinfectant wipes. I use a special solution that works great, so stick around till the end of the video and I'll share my secret sauce. Always test a small surface before you completely douse the mouse with whatever cleaning solution you decide to use. After a few years of owning the same peripherals, you'll get to know what works best and won't strip or fade or discolor your tech. Don't forget to wipe the sensor part of the mouse and keep debris out of that area. Dust and particle collection in the sensor area can and will affect mouse tracking. Remember the days with a ball inside the mouse? Huh, <laughs> the things you'd find lodged inside. Oof. Number three, the controller. This isn't too complicated. Controllers are pretty easy to clean. In general, the plastic body or whatever the composition may be is the easiest part to deal with. The grip section will be the spot to focus on, then moving on to the D-pad or thumbstick where the finger grease and oils can accumulate. Be careful with these parts, some companies have rubber coating around the thumbstick which can get cut or damaged over the years. Some of you may have pulled it off already, but once again, don't use any harsh chemicals on softer compounds. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you another product I use that's safe and effective. Number 4, the mouse pad. Oh yeah, this is the mother of all mothers. Some of you might have an extended mouse pad that you use as a dinner plate. Stop! Guys, the extended mouse pad is to keep your desk clean, prevent damage to the surface from sliding your peripherals around, and to provide some additional comfort and support. Not to rest your breakfast burrito on. The materials used in most of the mouse pads are made from lower density rubber and bonded with some sort of fabric on the upper surface. Wipe them down with a damp cloth or wash them with lukewarm water and some dish soap. Make sure it's completely dry before putting it back to use. When it comes to colors, well, black will fade to charcoal, and white will take on whatever color it decides to. Like peripherals, your mouse pad has a shelf life, and it will either just look bad after a while or tear apart depending on the manufacturer. Wiping them clean and avoiding harsh chemicals will ensure you get the most out of them. Thankfully, they are inexpensive to replace, and if you're like me, you may want to change up the shape, size, design, and color format as your taste changes. 
Number five, conclusion. Water, soap, Swiffers, and even interior car cleaner from Chemical Guys, which is okay to use on surfaces like electronic display screens, nav screens, plastic, rubber, vinyl, and more, is what I mainly use to keep everything clean. I keep my setup pristine all the time because the moment I let go is the moment my setup will fall apart. You know, I was hesitant to make this video, but after seeing some people's builds and PC setups online, including my own friends, I was astonished to see how little people care about their peripherals. So short story short, keep your shit clean and it'll last longer and look good. The same goes for the entire PC setup, and even your chair. You can check out my review of the DX Racer gaming chair right here. So bros, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, well maybe go clean your peripherals. Ha! Also, please show some cleaning love and consider subscribing to my channel and checking out my other videos. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.